Welcome to another tutorial by GCO Studios. Today I will show you how to personalize your documents with InDesign's data merge feature. So what is data merging? Data merge is the ability to create fields in your document that automatically populate from a comma delimited file, otherwise known as a CSV. You can create the CSV using Microsoft Excel or Numbers for Mac, or you can just export it from a number of other databases such as WordPress, Sage, Joomla, Drupal, etc. In your document, make sure you have your headings across the top and records underneath the shown. There isn't a limit to how many records you can have, but try not to overdo it. The data you're seeing here is generic and just to illustrate the tutorial. Go to File, Export, and I've already got CSV selected. Uh, under Windows, you'll need to do the drop down for that. Just click Next. I'm just going to save it here as sample data, export, and now it's appeared on my desktop. So I'm just going to hide that. So I'm just going to open up my InDesign document. I'm using CS6, but this ability goes back to some of the older InDesign versions as well. The design I've set up is a printed follow-up direct mail meant to go to an individual for a specific event that they've attended at a specific location. So if I zoom in, you can see that I've used curly brackets to highlight where I want the data fields to go from the CSV. You would normally put a marker in this space for the data field so as to not get confused later on. For example, first name, location, and finally events. This is just more of a reminder for you to know where to put stuff. So if I just undo that now, go up to your Essentials tab, which governs the workspace that you're in. Click on Advanced, and under there you should find the Data Merge panel. This should be viewable in CS6, CS5, and CS4. If you don't see the Data Merge panel, that means you'll have to do it the old-fashioned way by going to Window, Utilities, and then selecting Data Merge. Go back to the Data Merge panel select the further options in the top right corner of that panel and you'll see select data source so now i go to client data and i click open and i've opened up the wrong one sorry <laughs> let's try that again select data source uh, sample data even uh, and here you go. So we've got first name, surname, company, location, and event. And if I bring up numbers again, you can see that those data fields are from the top header along here. All the records below are linked to the InDesign document. Let's hide numbers again and select the first set of curly brackets. Go back to the data merge panel and choose first name. As you can see, the first name data field is now in place in our main text. Now go ahead and insert the rest of them, the location and event. That's all done, so we don't have to add anything else. Head back to the further options on the data merge panel and select create merged document. A new panel will open up. This will have a lot of advanced options for the data and the design. For this particular design, we want all records from the CSV to be included, and we also want a single record per page. Make sure there's a tick in Generate Overset Text Report. Don't worry about multiple record layout for now. That will be focused on in another tutorial. Now go ahead and click OK. InDesign has now created a new document. As you can see by the little pop-up box, it says no overset text was generated when merging records. If you get a report that says otherwise, you'll need to go back to the original design document, which is still open, and check your text there. Click OK, and if I zoom out for you, you can see that multiple pages have been created. These separate pages now show the different records that I had in my CSV file. And that's how you data merge into InDesign. Thanks for watching GCO Studios tutorials.